What's up, guys? Uh, we are working our way through the summer right now. Thanks for staying tuned in with us and checking out our little episodes that we've been putting out. Uh, appreciate it. I thought I'd take the time right now to give you kind of an idea on the lure spread that we run. I will switch this out winter time a little bit. My corners generally are the same, but I'm not constantly changing this thing out. Big fish are kind of our target for the most part out here. But anyways, let me give you a quick rundown. I've got my teasers here on the electrics. I got here basically a really, really big lure behind a bunch of mud flap. Over here we got the dredge. Obviously can't see it here with the GoPro, but it's down there. My dredge is pretty much about uh, about mass and vibration. I'm trying to get the, the mass with the mud flaps and then vibration with a bunch of really erratic swimming baits. Behind that, I got a Aloha Lure smash bait. Awesome big tube style lure. Next one on my, oh, there he is, right long. Just missed it. Oh. Woo. I got Ken on the blue. Let's see if we can get him. You, man. Uh, sorry about the interruption. Had a fish to take care of, but back, back to the lure spread here. Short corner bait, a couple different ones there. Uh, tantrum lures, kaboom, tantrum by Nick Durham. That's one. We run a smash bait sometimes. Breakfast, which is made by Black Bart's. That's my most productive lure for me over the years. I caught my granter, I caught all kinds of fish on it. Uh, that thing pretty much never leaves the spread. I've caught big fish everywhere in the world. Love that thing. Left long right now, we got uh, medium koi dog by Koi Lures. Switch that one out a little bit. Koi makes a really good plunger I put there sometimes. Right long is the now is a mold craft uh wide range before it was the aku kind of taxidermy looking head thing kind of just a bullet that back there i want an easy meal uh stinger koya nine inch bullet that thing everything in the ocean eats i like to run some bigger stuff out there and uh yeah that's sort of what we do it seems to be working for me Obviously, uh, what works for me may not work for another boat, so it's uh, you got to just kind of put some lures out there and kind of go to school, see what works on your boat. On, on your every boat's got a little different weight, different speed, different things. So certain lures are going to work on different boats. So yeah, I think you just kind of got to mess around and figure it out and see what works for you. Uh, I guess if there's any kind of like tips or anything on lure fishing in general. I guess I could say that uh, the main thing when you're setting up your spread is to look at it as kind of like a team. 
as if you're it's like a baseball team or a football team or something like that back there where every position has its role uh, every every position in that spread should have its own role on what you want it to be doing you know one is an exciter one is a swimming bait one is an easy meal you know you kind of want them to all have their purpose and um yeah i mean that's kind of my two cents obviously a lot of really good lure fishermen in here in kona so every day for me i'm learning i'm always listening uh, i think that'll be that way and all the time you always always got to be kind of learning and listening and hearing different tips and especially somewhere like this in kona because there are so many really good lure fishermen and lure builders and um color and stuff like that i'm not a when we're talking marlin fishing that's something i don't get too hung up on i mean i i prefer the dark darker colors and purples and things like that um but for me it's more movement is the main thing with the lure and a contrast in colors you have a little bit of contrast and um yeah and that's it so good luck with it hopefully we can catch a few more on these lures all right dave you're on Oh, yeah, buddy. Perfect. Good job. Woo! Making me work for it. <laughs> Alright, got David on one. Let's see if we can get him his first blue, close the deal this time. back last day Dave and Ken both got first blue Marlins yes sir yeah what do you think man coming back man I had a great time <laughs> I, I mean I came here for three reasons the calm waters of Kona catch a blue Marlin and work with a great crew and I did that on the Grand Marlin so like this is a great experience for me thanks brother Glad to get you your first one, man. <laughs> Pretty work, boys. Pretty work. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you, guys.